Hey, what's up you guys? It is really late. It's 9.14. There's a whole bunch of background noise and I really wanted to do an ASMR video, but it's just not working. Like, it's just not working. I'm actually not at my house. I am at uh, my friend's house. I babysit for him sometimes. And I thought, you know, since these kids are going to sleep, like maybe I'll just do a nice ASMR video because it will be quiet, the kids will be asleep, everything will be fine. Anyways, um, I tried to do it, but there was just background noise everywhere and it just wasn't really sounding that great. So I wanted to wait on that and I just wanted to update you guys on how I was feeling today and kind of do a little YouTube therapy. Um, so basically I woke up really sore again and I'm still really sore. I worked out two days ago and I am still like extremely sore. I stretched, I did everything right and I'm just, I don't know what's wrong. And I've been feeling a little bit unsure about the direction that I want to take this channel. I've been kind of, oh wait, these like shadows. I think that's better. So I've been feeling a little bit unsure about the direction that I want to take this channel and I've been kind of like doing whatever I want, like literally whatever I want. Like if I'm cleaning and I want to film it, I'll do it. And I cleaned today, I just didn't film it because I didn't want to. And I ate food today and I didn't film it because I didn't want to. And I just didn't really do much, but I didn't want to film. And it was really weird for me because I love picking up the camera and filming every day and I thought, okay, maybe I'll do this, maybe I'll do that. But really today was just like a day of me gathering my thoughts, not filming, and I can totally understand now why people don't vlog every single day. And the reason being is because sometimes you just need a break from being in front of the camera, I think. And even if you're doing like quote unquote easy videos, it still can get very, um, monotonous and very time consuming and very much like taking all of your focus and that's just not what I want um, I was really focusing on Diego today because he isn't feeling the best he has a little bit of a cold he has like a runny nose and he's sneezing and it just makes me really sad because I can't help him but I know that he's gonna be fine he's like very 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 strong and very healthy so I know he'll be fine, but I was just, you know, kind of in like a weird place today. I just finished my period, probably TMI, but I don't really care. Um, but I just finished my period and I just feel like, I kind of feel like empty after, if that's like such a corny way to describe it. But I feel like I just had no motivation inside of me at all to do anything today like not to do anything and i wasn't tired yeah that was the thing i wasn't tired i was actually fine like i was pretty well rested and i felt great for the most part i just didn't want to do anything like i just wanted to chill i wanted to watch youtube i wanted to just like be by myself and i got that for the most part, I got that. Diego was there, of course, but he was sleeping. And any day with Diego is a good day, so I never want to be without him, which is another reason why it's like, it's just like hard for me to think about leaving him in the next few weeks um, for a month. I just cannot even believe that I'm leaving him. I know I'm gonna look back on this video and be like, oh my gosh, Sam, you're such a drama queen. But in reality, he is like my baby. And I don't want to leave my baby at six months old just yet, but I feel like, it's been a long time since I've been home, like over a year and a half. Mm. It's been over a year and a half and I just feel like, I just feel like it's time. Like I really need to go back. There's a lot of people that I need to see, a lot of things that I need to do and Ofer's coming this time. So it's gonna be fun. I'm really excited for that. And I was just like reminiscing today about how interesting that it is that I've been on YouTube for over two years, but I just started filming like continuously like a year ago so I just 
thought it was so interesting to look back and see all of the things that I've accomplished, like over 100 videos I've posted in the last year. And it's just so crazy to me. Like, I am so incredibly proud of myself and everything that I do and all the effort that I make. Like, yeah, I've missed a few days. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've missed a few days, but nothing crazy. And I've always caught, like, caught up, if you will. Like, I posted the next day. I never made the effort. I never not made the effort. So I just find it really really inspiring like I inspire myself because I'm like wow I did that like I really did that like you know I hear sometimes people making excuses like I can't do this because I'm not good at it or I can't do this because I don't know how well I didn't know how to edit a year ago I just watched back a video that I that I made sorry my hand hurts I just watched back a video that I made a year ago and the editing was so funny because I like I don't know what I did but I just like took sound off of something like in the middle of me talking I just like took the sound away I didn't put any music behind it I was still like talking to the camera and I was still you could still see the clip but then I replayed the same song that I played earlier but at a higher volume if that makes sense I don't know I don't know what I was doing honestly I like it was like a five minute video like what I couldn't edit a five minute video now I'm like you know doing my editing so quickly and yeah it's not the best and I do want to try to outsource for that eventually but I've learned how to edit like I've learned how to edit how crazy is that and I've learned so many things about angles and lighting and I've learned so many things about cameras and I've learned so many things about YouTube and I've just learned so much in the last year and I think it's like really important for me to acknowledge that. It's important for me to acknowledge kind of my YouTube birthday, if you will, my YouTube anniversary and just be proud of myself. Like I have over a thousand subscribers and a lot of people might say that's not that great. Like, you know, it's not anything you know what for me that's great like I'm very happy with that not saying that I don't want to strive for more but I'm very content where I'm at if that makes sense like yes I have the desire to have more but no I'm not fixated on it I'm not like oh I need this I don't send that needy energy out into the into the world I just feel really good about it and I feel really good about where I'm at in my life and where I'm at with my relationship and where I'm at with YouTube and I just feel so incredibly blessed because I know that I'm going to look back on this video in a few years and I'm going to say, wow, like only if you realize the things that were coming for you, like, okay, now I'm going to be corny. I'm going to do like a video to my future self because I just think it's really important sometimes to acknowledge how much can change in a year. And it's really crazy that I'm saying that right now because I just saw a friend's Instagram and she's like, your whole entire life can change in a year. Like that's her post. And I'm like girl you right my whole life has changed in the last year which is kind of the inspiration for this video so shout out lauren white i appreciate you um you definitely gave me the inspiration and yeah i want to share with my future self that when you feel like you're not doing enough or you feel like times are hard or you feel like oh why am i even doing this it's not worth it like i'm not making any money or i'm not you know, I don't, I don't have enough views or when you feel those vanity metrics start to come into play, remind yourself why you're doing this. You love YouTube. You love being in front of the camera. It makes you so happy to tell your heart and your soul to people and for you to be heard. And, you know, I really hope that these videos inspire and help people. And, you know, you are doing such a good thing by doing that. Like you really are helping people, even if it's one person you're helping so no matter if you have these crazy shadows over your face no matter if your hair looks gross no matter if you feel like you know you haven't gotten your exercise in for the day or whatever you have done such an amazing job at doing this youtube channel and improving your life tenfold i cannot even explain how proud i am of you so i know in a year from now when i see this i am going to be so 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 proud and even more proud because i made this video knowing that things are only going to get better like i know things are going to get better i know that my future self is going to be so pleased because i'm pleased right now that's the best part i am so happy with my life right this moment that 
sucks in my hair. Sorry. Um, so I'm just so happy with everything that's going on that it can only get better. It can't get worse. Like it really can't. Even if all of those things went away, I'd still be happy because I found happiness in myself, if that makes sense. Probably sounds corny, I don't care. But yeah, future self, if you're watching, this is, this is my message to you. So I really, 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 really appreciate you and all of your hard work. And I'm so, so, so incredibly proud of you. You have done such an incredible job at everything. And I'm so proud of you for learning and for doing and for pushing and persevering and yeah, grinding it out. So. I'm really proud of you. I love you. You're incredible. You're a beautiful woman. You're awesome and you're strong and you're going to do the most incredible things even more than you already have. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was a little, I don't know what that was. Bye. By the way, before I go, obviously, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you've watched this far. If you watch this far, you might as well subscribe because who watches to the end of a video?